hi everyone and happy spring it is now spring and don't you feel springy i feel springy today yes you see i have my purple whatever these things are called i have my lavender on i have my lavender apron on i just feel so springy today and so what i'm going to do today i've been craving turkey nets yes i like turkey nets i wanted some stewed down turkey nets so this is the recipe i will be preparing for you guys so i'm going to share this with you so if you like turkey nets or you don't and you want to try them to me this is the best way to try them yes i have my lavender essential oil going in the other room i have uh, Runny Brook Nature Sound going. Yes, I'm in my Lavender Zen um, moment. So I'm feeling good today. And today is a wonderful day. And I hope you're having a wonderful day as well. So give me a moment. We'll get started and I'll go over these ingredients so you too can try or continue to enjoy some turkey nips. But, we're gonna, but use Auntie Nose recipe. Hold on. Now, I buy a family pack, and I like the fat ones. I don't like them little skinny ones. I like the fat ones. Now, you know you just can't go from the pot to the pack to the pot. You have to clean these babies, and you got to wash them. When I say wash, I don't mean you just rinse them off and throw them in your pot and throw some stuff on them. No, you got to clean them, but you got to get some of this stuff off, this fat and things. So, we're going to go over at how you properly clean them, in my opinion. And so, give me a moment, and I'll show you guys. All right, my friends. Okay, now you're gonna need a separate bowl because what you're gonna do with your separate bowl, you're gonna put the clean ones in here, not clean the ones you trimmed off that it says fat off of. Now you wanna leave some fat on. When I say some fat on, like these little pieces that'll be hanging off, and I'll show you guys what that looks like. And when you cook as much as I do around here. You invest this into some styrofoam bowls because I used to collect my little trashy things like skin, chicken skin, things like that. And you're gonna, need a, you're gonna need a cutting board to cut that excess of uh, when you cut that excess fat off. Now, these aren't washed because what I'm trimming them first. Like I said, you're gonna leave, you're still gonna leave some of this fat on here now because you can't do that. So, what I'm gonna do, you're gonna look, see, see this right here. You don't want that. You got to take that off. You got to take all that off of there. That's what you got to do. So I'm going to cut this off of here with my good, good old paring knife. And pull, pull it around. Let's see. See, I, I took that off of there. Throw that in up over here, my little handy dandy. And I'm going to show you how I clean this baby. So, I'm going to show you exactly how I clean, clean, not clean, to cut that off. And so, I'm going to take this bowl of untrim and put it over here so I can get you guys over here too so you can see me trim. How about that? That's okay? That's okay with the audience? Is that okay with the audience? okay that's okay to me all right i'm looking what i'm doing i'm looking to see for you know like this right here i don't want that you don't want it either so you know you, you you're tramming all that gook off and you're looking around and you you like these little bones like this if you're feeling them go ahead and take them off you know, it's just part of the neck joint. Don't mind, I have bleach water, guys, so you don't have to worry about any cross contamination coming out of this counter, uh, this kitchen, because I, I spray my counter with a bleach and water solution after everything. So, that, and like I said, I'm filling any little, these little particles here, I'm cleaning them. I'm running my finger around or anything, you know, because it don't they they are processed mechanically. So see I'm peeling off these little these little uh pieces of the neck joints. That's all I'm doing with this, and I'm gonna cut that off. 
That's why I, I, I buy the big ones. You can work with the big ones. Those little ones, they like about the diameter of like a half dollar. I can't work with those. You see, this one is done, so I'm gonna put it over there with the clean one. Now I'm gonna do one more, pick up one more of these. I'm gonna get a bigger one. Okay, this one. This will be a good one for to show you guys. See, look at this one. This is gonna, you know, gotta get all this done. Hold on, guys. My debts comes keep sending me messages, so I need to uh, get this taken care of. All right, I'm back, guys. Had to take care of that. Those that you don't know, it's Dexcom. I wear Dexcom six. Uh, monitors my blood sugars 24 seven. So you know, so you see all this? Uh uh, that's garbage. Take that off of there. Uh uh, you don't want that. You want to chump on, chump down on all of that. Throw that over here. See, I like all of this. This is why I got this one. I chose this one because this will show you exactly what I mean when I say you. It, it's more to just taking these things from the uh, the rinsing off, going from the pack to your pot, which mm -mm. take all that off because you don't want that. No, you don't want none of that. And you still going through the same thing of feeling for these little bitty mini neck joints. You know, you still want to feel for those and pull those off. You feel any or uh, any veins? pull those if you can see I was able to take that pull just pull that right on out turkey nets are really really good and you know they can be really they make really good broth too uh, so this should be my last cut off this baby Okay, I got this one all nice and spiffy. Look at that beauty, all nice and spiffy. So it's gonna go in my clean one. So I'm going to finish these other ones up and then um, we'll return. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna wash them really good in baking soda and some lemon juice. And I'll return after I've thoroughly washed them and I'll go over my seasonings and then we'll get them on the stove. After they've been thoroughly seasoned. So I'll see you guys in a bit. Hold tight, sit tight. Auntie knows kitchen will be right back. All right, Auntie knows is back. You see these turkey nets? See how clean they look? And the reason why you use baking soda and lemon juice, you can use lemon juice because of the acid. It activates the, what's that stuff called that said baking soda, bicarbonate, whatever it is. It, I don't need no name of it, I ain't gonna try to think of it, but whatever it is, it activates it. And that what really, that, that's what cleans your meat. And so I'm gonna put this, we're gonna go over the ingredients. We're gonna need a bell pepper. I'm sure you gotta eat a really cute way. Washed, bell pepper guys, washed, washy, washy, washy. And you know, washy, washy. If you slice your sides off, just slice your sides off. And also, uh, it eliminates as many seeds that you may get. And it'll cut me, because that way you'll only have your core left. That way, you can just throw your core out. Your goody goody gumdrop done. And, rinse these seeds out. But I don't know about you. I want to season my stuff. Guys, I'm not going, I'm not going the uh, fancy way of all of these different seasonings. I'm going just straight, straight Southern Country Girl recipe. You're going to need some. I'm not using a, a this is a fourth cup of uh, dehydrated onions. You go to a, the dehydrated mixed onions. You know, a lot of restaurants use these. You know, 
You buy that lift that that uh lift the onion soup mix. That's what this is, and this combined with some onion powder. Just letting you guys know. And if you get the one that say beef, I ain't got it. Combine with a little powder, beef stock. Okay, you need this, but I'm not putting this in here yet. You're gonna need some garlic powder. That's about you know, a tablespoon and a half. Onion powder, just a little. That's about a teaspoon. Oh, my favorite, my favorite. Use ground black pepper. Ground black pepper, guys. Not, um, not the coarse. We're doing, we're doing the ground. If you're a black pepper lover, get in there. And you're gonna use some salt. Now you can use Laura's seasoned salt, but I'm going with my Himalayan pink salt. Put it over there. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get in here. I'm gonna mix all that around. Say so God, I'm not going for the all the fanciness. This is I'm just going straight simple, keeping it simple. It's nothing to turkey nets. It's, I'm not going with all the hidden spices and 11 or 12 herbs and spices. I'm going to set that to the side. Now, what I'm going to do, take this dirty glove off. I'm going to take my pot and put some oil. Got some oil heating in it. So I'm going to let this oil heat up and we'll be right back. Okay, guys. This is olive oil, so you know Olive oil cannot handle a high heat index. I cut my peppers up into large strips. And the reason why I use large strips so I can take them out. And what I'm going to do. Oh, you know what, guys? You want to go fancy schman. This stuff here, Montreal chicken, right here. Can you see it? This is really, really good. You can put these in your necks or any other bait. Make sure you may be cooking. It's really, really good. All right, so let me get these turkey nets on here. So I, I'm not frying them. What I'm doing, I just want to get a sear because they're going to remain in this uh, pan. Yes, they're going to remain in this pan. All I'm doing is getting me a cute little brownness on them. That's all I'm doing. All I'm doing with this is getting some brownness to them. And when I say I'm getting a little brownness to them, as soon as I get to that brown stage, I'll bring the camera back so you all can see. Because remember what I said, I'm not, we're, we're not cooking and we're not frying. Just getting some brownness. Be right back. Okay, my friends. They brown to where, you know, like I said, I didn't want... I didn't want them cooked. Just wanted to add me a little brownness to, to them. And see all that seasoning that's down in that oil. So I'm going to add one 32 ounce of chicken broth. This is it. Let's see if I can get this adjusted for you guys so you can see exactly what I'm. Okay, I have this one 32 ounce, oops, one 32 ounce of chicken broth. Gonna add all of this to here. Gonna add this one fourth cup of those dehydrated onions. Throw that over there for a little bit. Gonna add my bell pepper strips. Yes, and I'm going. This will be stewed down. I'm going to let this cook and stew down. It's going to be stewing down for at least at least probably all, about two hours because you want them tender, 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 tender. And I'm going to let these stew down for me. It's going to be a little while before I check in, but in your case, it'd be like a it's a blink. So Auntie knows. We'll see you guys 
in about two hours. But I will, you know how I like to check in with you guys so you can see how the process is going. Um, like I said, I don't take care of anything off camera. I like for it. Even if something goes wrong, I'm not going to uh, stop and go, oh, I got to make this beautiful. Don't get bougie on me. Be right back. Guys, I was thinking, I said, you know, while those are cooking, I said, what kind of vegetable am I going to have? So I said, you know, I'm going to do some green beans because I'm going to show you guys a little secret that I found out years ago while working at the chicken place. A lot of, well, all these little chicken places, mainly where you go to that serve green beans. Uh, no, they're not in the back back of the uh, kitchen. Um, the, uh, or in the back, backyard going down to the street to the farm to find you guys a, a ham hock. They ain't doing nothing. Right so, but what I'm going to show you is how you can have a good old flavor of your green beans. Yes, you see these great value green beans? Don't get bougie on me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Walmart. I'm going to take two cans of green beans and take these two cans of green beans. I'm going to So I don't knock you down and put you in a whole nother room and lay you down. Guys, I'm welcome back and we are winding this up while I was uh, waiting. I just went on and made a little small pan of cornbread. I use yellow cornmeal for this uh, that little pan. Here are the green beans. And what I do, because my, my veggies must be cooked so they're really super, super soft. So I usually just uh, pick up a bean, a veggie, and I see, because that's what I have to have. I'm gonna eat that one. Yum, 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 yum. And so I'm going to take these out and put them into that bowl. Get these green beans. Good old southern country flavor. That, uh, so there's no meat in it, so you know it's nice. I'm gonna put a little black pepper, a little more black pepper on them. But I'm gonna uh, get these in a bowl, and I'll be right back. I got sorry about it earlier um, when uh, I think I knocked down my camera. I don't know what I did, but anyway, remember I said. I just keep moving. Life don't stop, neither will I. Neither will this roll, camera or whatever. But the green beans, I got them in my little handy dandy bowl. What I'm gonna put them in the fridge, look at their deliciousness. And no, I did not plate them in a fancy bowl. No, did not go in the China cabinet to get one of my fancy, my buffet not China cabinet. Mm -hmm. But I don't drain them, cause you know what? the. These are gonna be so good, especially the next day because they've sat overnight and all that goodness. So we're gonna move along. Y'all see my sous chef over there? I fired him a long time ago for being a security dog. Cause uh, I don't think he's securing his stomach. So hold on, let's get to these turkey nets cause they I don't think I have to now do with these and stew them down with some and make this gravy. Oh, you talking about some goodness. Give me a second, buddies. You guys see that goodness? Look at that. And I'm getting all that good morsel. So I'm gonna add some water. Yes. And I'm gonna, look at there. 
And what I'm going to do to this, oh, let me get my soup. Okay, you're gonna turn your turkey nest down to very low heat, and you're gonna add a can of cream of chicken soup. Now, I want to tell you the truth. You can buy what you want, but cream, Campbell, this cream of chicken soup, that's, this is the only one I will buy because I don't like the, mm -mm. no, 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 no. So, see, I got my chick, my turkey that's going down to very low heat because I cooked some rice on the back of the stove that I'm going to be combining that. See, look at there. Mm. The temp. If I can get one to be still long enough. I need two hands. You can also do this in a crock pot because I have done it in a crock pot too. Yeah, I know I can't see. Look at that. Just tender. Sorry, Jesse Wessie. So I'm going to take my cream of chicken soup and I'm going to get that in here. That's the thing about working with silicone utensils too. You're going to stir this around. And it's okay if it you have long because the heat from this is gonna melt all that down. Now remember this was like a this was a family pack. So this is just this went into a quart side bag. These uh nets went into a quart side bag. So I end up getting three quart side bags out of this. Even though it's only three of us, I do I buy in bulk and split things up. You save a lot of money and time that way, in my opinion. Okay, got that. Put that over there for a little bit of housekeeping. And here's my, it's hot, that's hot. And I'm gonna put the top back on here. Let it simmer, some simmer down. Throw that over there for a little housekeeping. And um, I made a little, that little bit of pan of cornbread cause my husband had some meals in the fridge and he was out of cornbread oops and he is one of those well well got to loosen it up on the side he's one of those that don't want to eat without uh, bread and he wants cornbread he doesn't Nice, nice, uh, good golden pan of little small pan of cornbread for him. There you go, guys. I just made it in my little small cast iron. Like I said, I use, you know, my little cup pot cast iron. I use yellow cornmeal for this. Grandmama's cornbread, and that's exactly what he calls it. Grandma cornbread. I do an upload of this, and I do when I do an upload, I be doing both versions. One with the yellow. You know, hold on one second, guys. I want you guys to see this cornbread. So I'm gonna, cause I'm gonna do an upload of these. And um, this is, I use the yellow cornmeal, Seth Rising yellow cornmeal for this. And I, when I have to do it, when I, to, but you know, so, and I use buttermilk. I always make my cornbread with buttermilk. I just love using buttermilk. So I got some rice over here cooling, but I'm going to pick up a piece of this cornbread so you guys can see some goodness. Look at there. Let's get in here. Let me get you guys in here. Can you see this goodness? Maybe if I bring you around a little bit more, can you see this goodness? Me and my desk come. We've been fighting all day I don't like my numbers today look at there look at all of that now I'm gonna try this but make sure it don't get caught here I gotta 
throw it down with some latte so give me a moment people all right got my see i took out the edge a piece for me and i put this in a little baggie so they know they know don't touch this this mine because see i cut this in half again and i got my little edge right here see that throw that in my little bowl I had to add milk to it. Yes. And I had to make till my stuff get a little mushy. But that's all right. That's all right. I still enjoy, you know. Hey. But let's get back to cooking these here next. For those of you that are interested in getting you some cast iron, remember I, large is the only thing I buy, but this is how I take care of it. After everything I cook in my cast iron skillet, I t you have to take a little oil and season it back up. See that oil down in here? Yep, I do the outside. Yes. And this is the way I store it. I put it in a bag and I store it just like this. So. Just waiting on that rice to cook down and we'll move on. Keep this train on moving. Okay, my friend, we are on our final leg of our turkey nest. Don't, don't they look good? You know they do. You know, you just jump to the screen, can't you? Just, oh, yes. No, guys, I do not strain the chicken, cream chicken soup. One time I strain cream of chicken soup is when, um, I'm cooking something like uh, turkey divine, chicken divine, something like that. I, here's my rice. Now, I use, uh, you can use brown rice, wild rice, whatever rice your choice. And you see, I have this, uh, I'm combining this. If y'all heard that alarm, that's telling me, y'all heard that alert come in, coming from my monitor. <clears throat> So I'm gonna see. Ya. There's no reason to add flour, cornstarch, or anything like that because that cream of chicken soup, along with that this this broth from these turkey nets, serves as your gravy. I'm so gonna season this with a little more black pepper. And we are good to go. Guys, here's our finished product. Stewed turkey necks with rice. There's, again, there was no need to add cornstarch and flour to this. This is, look at there. See how, look at that, the creaminess of it. The turkey necks are tender, fall off the bone. Be careful, because they are super tender. Appreciate you guys tuning in for this lengthy process for me. <laughs> but um kitchen is closed. Um again, thank you for all your support. Auntie knows loves loves you all, current subscribers, new subscribers, or just thanks for stopping by when I'm playing guys when this is rolling. Sorry for the interruptions and the cutting breaks. But my desk com is going off. I need to take care uh, of it because it's just going to continue to go off until that number looks good. <laughs> so um, thanks again to the next upload. Be you. Be great doing you. And love you guys. Again, thanks for all of your support. Until the next time, bye. Enjoy those turkey nets and rice, those green beans. Bye.